On this episode, we'll be going over the instructions we took to build the run for our coop. This was a full family project and it took a weekend to complete. Since this video is just about how we built the run, we wanted to share a bit of background about the coop. We purchased this coop from Bombshell Chicks at Rock Hill Farm and Gardens in Loomis, California. We picked it up from a farm, brought it home to get it unloaded and cleaned out, then put it on a piece of our land. Bombshell Chicks' brother also builds coops and does great work. You can look them up on Facebook at Bombshell Chicks. We'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, so the first step in building our run was to set posts. We dug some holes and placed the posts in concrete. After that, we measured and cut the frame of the run, all of which isn't on video because we totally spaced and forgot to record that process. You will see, however, the layout of the frame throughout the video. Next, we had to measure out and cut the gate. Once the frame was assembled and upright, the next step was to attach the protective wire. We were able to stretch the wire using a long metal pole and a crowbar. We started at the bottom of the coop and moved up, stapling the wire to the frame as we went. We highly recommend not using chicken wire. The wire we used was much stronger than chicken wire. We finished stapling all of the wire to the coop in about two hours or so, then we added an extra layer of protection to the frame. We did this to make it as predator-proof as possible. After all of the wire was in place around the frame, we used a smaller gauge of wire to protect the bottom of the coop. This was also stapled into place. With the help of the kids, we staked the wire to the ground, then covered it with a thick layer of dirt. This skirt was put into place as another additional layer of protection against predators. The family had a great time working together during this phase. Since we live in California and the summers here can get really hot, we opted for a shaded canvas cover over the top of the run. This also adds another layer of predator protection. We stretched a canvas cover over the top of the run, tied the ends into place, then went to grab our five week old chicks. We loaded them up in the truck and brought them down to introduce them to their new home. The run was completed in one weekend. Total time spent was roughly eight hours. If you have any questions regarding details or anything else, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.